Chamberlain. What a search from him. The shot! What a goal! Sports worldwide is a multi-billion dollar industry. A recent A.T. Kearney study of sports teams, leagues and federations reveals that the global sports industry is worth 620 billion US dollars. Other studies, such as that of KPMG, even put the figure at 700 billion. There are several other advantages that accrue to nations, but appropriating them depends on strategies one adopts. The Coalition of Supporters Unions of Africa, COSWA, believes in using sports as a platform to harness opportunities for building African unity, working with the AU, and propagating the Millennium Development Goals with the UN, among others. COSWA has its beginnings in a misfortune many in Ghana and Africa would quickly like to forget. Around the world, the phenomena of football stadium disasters have been a source of worry. It appeared distant until 127 lives were lost in the May 9, 2001 Accra Sports Stadium disaster, making it the worst on the African continent. There were almost as many deaths that day as there were in the Hillsborough and Hazel Stadium disasters combined. It was an epic league match between Accra Hearts of Oak and Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Matches between these top two teams in Ghana generate fierce rivalry. The commentator for the day was Safu Abebrese. And Odro, no freak giving, and Ishmael Ado takes off. A chance for half a folk now. Following the disaster, there was a long search for peaceful solutions to the violence generated when these teams clash. The commentator on that fateful day, now AU advocate, Safwa Bebrese, also a lawyer and journalist, enters the fray and things begin to look up. In pursuit of his vision to contribute to minimizing violence between the two sides, Safu developed and launched the first Team Neutral Supporters Union, known as the Supporters Union of Ghana, Suga. Supporters from both Hearts of Oak and Kotoko were members. As they were mobilized to support each other's team together in international sporting competitions, a spirit of camaraderie developed amongst them. They no longer saw each other as enemies. Though I'm a Hearts of Oak supporter or a Kotoko supporter, but because it is, they are representing Ghana. I see it as a national cause. Therefore, once it is, they are raising the flag of Ghana, then it's about Ghana and not about House of Folk or Kotoko. And gradually, it took away that enmity, that gradually, it took away that bitterness, gradually, it took away the fact that you don't want to see an eye to eye with each other. And it helped, and violence has really, really gone down. If it has not been eliminated, it has gone down. Since, uh that initiative, there has been a lot of peace and harmony between the two teams, Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Accra Hasafov. We've never had any casualty ever since the May 9 disaster, uh, in which even a single soul has been lost in any match that was played between them. Also, both teams grew stronger on the African continent to the point that the two of them eliminated all other African teams and faced off in the final of the 2004 edition of the Africa Cup Winners' Cup for the first time ever in history. The first leg in Accra ended one all. The second leg in Kumasi also ended one all. And the ball hits the back of the net. Asante Kotoko are in the lead. And it's delivered. And Hanua! It's 1-1. One, one. What drama. This raised the temperature and anxiety reached fever pitch. Pass of Oak won on penalties. And guess what? Nobody cried foul. Nobody fought. There wasn't a single loss of life. And a cry House of Oak had even the you know, the honor of being hosted to a party in the palace of the 
uh, Asante Hene, the, the king of Kumasi. That is the chief patron and owner of Kumasi, Asante Kotoko. And they had a party there and they, they traveled all the way to Accra peacefully and nothing happened. One has to view this against the backdrop that if a mere league match between them could claim 127 lives, how much more a continental Super Cup final? As part of the strategy of forging unity and reducing tensions, from time to time, Suga donated sporting kits to the senior national football team, the Black Stars, and the top four teams in Ghana. These contributed in strengthening the national football team. The Black Stars also managed to qualify for their first uh, FIFA World Cup in 2006, uh, mainly because the two teams had been strong and had been united and had worked uh, in unity for uh, the progress of Ghana football. Ghana has since participated in every edition of the FIFA World Cup. It's a good punch in the end. Stephen Appiah here for Ghana. Oh, it's a good ball! And it's in the back of the net! That's a Moa Jan! 70 seconds or so on the clock and Ghana are in front! Suga's success story in Ghana motivated it to extend the concept to the entire continent of Africa. It aimed at rallying support for the continent in the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. Its founder and leader, Mr. Safwa Bebrese, started with the formation and inauguration of the Coalition of Supporters Unions of Africa, COZUA, on the 7th of September 2006. Every African country that registers with COZUA automatically arrogates to herself and her entire citizenry the right to take part in the World Cup by being part of the United Africa Supporters Front at this and at all subsequent World Cups and other important international sporting events worldwide, even if her team fails to qualify to participate on the field of play. COZWA will provide a platform for mobilization of support for African teams to such a magnitude never before witnessed in world football. Following this, COZWA helped to galvanize African fans from all over the continent to support each other. It was in this spirit that Kozwa created the famous Bafana Bagana when Ghana thrived all the way to the quarter-final, missing a historic semi-final berth by the stroke of that Asamoah crossbar hit. Asamoah for Ghana! Oh, and he's missed! Oh, I cannot believe it! And it was the last kick of the game! Since then, Kozwa has grown from strength to strength covering 50 of the 55 AU member nations so far. Citizens of Africa are getting to know each other better through football by courtesy of its concept. Going forward, COZWA seeks a strong partnership with the AU as well as global and continental partnership by way of sponsorship as it tackles the next assignment of mobilizing up to 5,000 members from all the 55 countries to support Nigeria, Senegal, Morocco, Tunisia and Egypt in the 2018 World Cup in June.